greatest killer of human potential is being in prison. Consider this, train one inmate to teach yoga and transform the lives of thousands of people and create safer communities everywhere. Train one inmate to teach yoga, a person who has led a disappointing life, a person set up to fail when he or she walks out the door and give him or her tools to the succeed. The, yeah. the, the United States is the number one jailer in the world. We have 2.2 million people behind bars in our country. 97% of them go home. That's 2.1 million people. Let me put that into context. That's New Mexico. Right? Of that group, 67%, 1.4 million people, Hawaii, go back to prison. Imprisonment doesn't rehabilitate. Rehabilitation rehabilitates. So what does yoga have to do with our prison system? What we have learned is that yoga rewires your brain. And studies back us up on this. You have 100 billion neurons in your brain with 1,000 trillion synaptic connections. Everything you are processing goes through your brainstem, where fight or flight also lives. So at any moment, any of us could go into fight or flight. You're having a good day. You're driving down the road. Someone cuts you off, and you slam your horn. And you go, what the hell? Jerk. Right? Fight or flight. So imagine if you're in prison, it's intense, it's chaotic, it's amplified there, and there's potential threats, other prisoners, prison guards. So imagine instead of reacting to every situation, you take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, and you make a new choice. Instead of door number one, fight. Door number two, flight. You choose a third door the door to your potential. So let's meet Doug. Doug is in for a life without parole. Um, he's one of our yoga teachers. And I met Doug at our yoga teacher training graduation. Uh, he told me that his first 20 years, he was in prison. He didn't change much. He got into a lot of fights. He was thrown into solitary pretty frequently. Somehow he found yoga. He started to meditate and to breathe and to practice. He loved it so much, he signed up for our yoga teacher training. And in the training, Doug made a surprising discovery for himself. He realized if he could share this new choice that he had learned through yoga to his students, remember, his students are inmates, and the majority of them are going home. If he could teach them this new way so that they do not return to prison with him, because Doug is not going home, then, they, then he, Doug, would have made an impact in the world. Doug found his third door, the door to his potential. Studies show that inmates can take four yoga classes, and the number of them who return back to prison is actually drops to 8% after five years and just four yoga classes. Remember our previous number of 67%. That's a difference of one million people, San Jose, discovering their third door. Right, so Yoga Behind Bars, we have an amazing staff of five, a visionary board of directors. I'm vice president of the board. We have incredible volunteer teachers at 15 facilities statewide, impacting the lives of 4,000 inmates in our system every year. And our goal is to affect all 18,000 people in the system. We were the first in the country to train inmates to teach yoga. We run on a quarter million dollars a year. So here's the important part. We'd like another quarter million dollars. Yeah, we really would <laughs> to, implement, uh, to implement an online teacher training to deliver our wisdom and experience to the rest of the country and create a new earned revenue system for us, to train another 75 inmates to teach yoga, and to expand our programming to include the mentally ill, those in solitary, prison guards. Why? Because we know that it works. We are changing the social trajectory of thousands of people from a life poorly spent to one where they rediscover and redirect and perpetuate their own humanity to become better neighbors, better parents, better people in our communities. What I am proposing 
is that we use a 5,000-year-old practice of love and compassion and connection, apply it to a modern problem, and create a revolution in human potential. Thank you.